don't mind hanging on a bit longer if you want to. Yes, please. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay, I'm starting recording now. So, you know, welcome to the open door social of um, increasedsocialreach.com. I'm, uh, I'm Sophia and I'm a social media success strategist and trainer. And I've, you know, started this series of calls just to help um, everybody out and just answer some of the questions, some niggly questions that um, people have asked. So um, what I'm going to do, just this is like really <laughs> informal. Um, we are just going to go through some of the questions. Uh, I know Mary's online and Mary had some questions um, today about hashtags. What, yeah. are, what are hashtags, what to do with them? And and what else was it? Uh, something about Twitter. Let me see. They, when you when you um, hash, do a hashtag on Facebook, does it appear in tweet Twitter? Yeah. So, what are hashtags? So hashtags are like groups of conversations that um, you have like specific groups. So depending on your industry. So, for example, if your industry is interior design or, um, or art or uh, painting, so there are specific hashtags where people are talking about painting, about interior design, and all sorts of things. Um, hashtags are started first with Twitter. So hashtags are very strong with Twitter and Instagram, okay? Um, and for the past... Uh, Past six months on Facebook, they've been having more uh, interaction there. Um, the pros, the thing, the thing is with hashtags, you really need to know what hashtag is more predominant for your specific target audience. So what I do, I use a tool, and I can share my screen, and I'll show you. It's is a website. Can you see that? <clears throat> yep. So website is hash, hash, hash to fight me. Okay, I can do put that on the chat box. Don't know where the chat box is now. Oops. So I'll put that on a hashtag uh, uh, um, on the chat box in a minute. Okay. Um, so in here. You are going to go, for example, what's, what's your industry, for example, Mary? Um, painting, craft, art. Painting. Let me take that off there for now. So you can see. So on the search, on the search tag, just put painting. Oh, let's, let's have a look and see what, what happens here. Okay, so. The painting is quite quite strong. Hashtag painting is quite strong. Hashtag art is even stronger. So the more popular the hashtag is, the more people are talking about it. Okay. Um, so you can even put in on the top here art. But don't forget, like if you're going into the hashtag conversations. Um, it can be quite fast. So, you know, there's people talking about it and using that specific hashtag. Um, so you should bear that in mind. That's why I always say not to put too many hashtags on your posts. I only put a couple so okay. I can, you know, keep track of it. So, for example, I put art and you've got painting, drawing. So you've got a lot of selections that, that you can do. So this is what I use to choose my hashtags. Okay. Okay. So when then you go to uh, Facebook's uh, graph search and you put the hashtag there. So the hashtag is like a search, isn't it? So you're going to, the, the graph, the Facebook graph search is like you're searching for that specific hashtag. Yeah. And, if, and if people have used that hashtag properly within context, then you will see then the conversations. And that's when opportunities might arise from it you see what i mean because there might be um somebody here that is looking at specific art 
and you might be able to supply that type of art you know if custom draw um if you do custom painting for for your clients sort of thing okay um and you can also like um comment on the specifics uh, uh the specific hashtag as well so you can go into the search for the specific hashtag and then you can comment it and you can comment it as your page as well so if you change the way you talk about it, the the way you um choose the page you can you, you can you know comment as your page so that is going to uh, increase your visibility of your page with okay. that specific target market. Thank you. Um, I think that's pretty it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just groups of conversations where you can find opportunities for your business, basically. <laughs> um, Thank you. You also asked about uh, Facebook insights and how you can figure out um, which posts to boost, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's go into um, it's my clients. I've got authorization for this. Just go into my client's insights and... So when you go onto the onto your specific page, you go page insights. Okay. Yep. So this is the back of it. And you just go onto the posts tab. Okay. So this is all the posts that have been published. It's still going around and around circles. I'm trying to find <laughs> the data. Once it finds it, um, you will have a list of all the reach and all the engagement that every specific post um, has. Okay, you have to do then. It, come on, man. <laughs> Let me just go. Let me do a refresh here. I find it that when I'm working with zoom sometimes sharing the screen is can be quite slow uh, okay. when you go to this drop down arrow so on the where it says um post clicks <laughs> reactions reactions comment shares post <coughs> hides and then you have to select the engagement rate <coughs> come on Let me just load Facebook again. Maybe it's just having a moment. That's okay. Let's maybe go to a different page. Let's try my page. So slow at times. Ah, there you are. So you go page insights and posts, okay? And then when you you're on the drop down arrow and you just put engagement rate, this is going to give you the percentages of the engagement. So um, my internet connection is unstable. Never mind. So for example, um, this one here has eleven percent engagement but very little organic reach. So you could, I could possibly um, create a Facebook ads, not boosting it. And I like to create my Facebook ads through Facebook ads manager or power editor and target it to my audience. So this post is actually about my social media starter kit. So I could actually boost that, post do a promoted post ad for that specific post and that will increase then the reach will be paid but that will increase the reach but it looks like 
we have good engagement. So one of the things you can do is just look into your insights and just uh, filter it by engagement rate. And the ones that, that are, they have quite good engagement. Okay. Like for example, this one's got really good engagement as well. 17%. So, um, this post again, I can boost it. Now it's important to have in mind that when you boost it, when you creating an ad for, um, for a post, a promoted post to ads, it needs to have a call to action. So, you know, don't boost other people's ads. <laughs> uh, but this, for example, is um, an ad, um, a post for the Women's Business Club, which I lead in Southampton. So I could actually create an ad that with a call to action for people to come and visit the club, for example. Okay. Uh, was that clear? Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Thank you. So, I mean, there is, there's a lot that you can do in insights and it can be quite daunting uh, because it's all this data. But for example, just quickly, if I show you, if you go to the overview tab, there is an export facility um, here for all the data. So you can actually export. And I think the range, the maximum range that you can do is 180 days. Okay. Uh, I believe is six months, right? Um, so you can actually export all this data and then analyze it outside of Facebook. It will give you like the posts that had more engagement, um, more shares, more likes. And then of course you can do more of those uh, types of posts. Um, and this is this data is what I use for like um, the monthly reporting with my clients. So I use that data and another tool to kind of, you know, check which posts were better received and had more reactions to it. Um, uh, another thing that I wanted to ch show you, it hasn't been asked, but I don't know if a lot of people don't know, um, this inside the insights there are um there is an area inside the insights that says pages to watch so this is like your competitor pages so or Ooh. your social competitors okay um the ones that are doing really really well on facebook and you really want just you know you just want to see and benchmark how you look against them sort of thing so you can add um, you can add pages here. So if I just do one, uh, uh, I'm trying to find one that you can just put the name. Oh, give me a page, give me a page. HubSpot, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so you can just put the name of the page or you, you can put the uh, link of the page. You know, like you have the link on the top there for the actual page. You can get yeah. that in the yeah. search and it kind of finds it. Or just the name of the page I, from the link sort of thing. Could I put my page up there? So, uh, give me the name of your page. Um, MaryDeville.com. It's double L, isn't it? Yeah. Double L. Oh, there you are. Yeah. So then you just go watch page. You're not relevant to me because you're not like a competitor uh, of yeah. mine, <laughs> but, um, but it's just for you know, showing purpose yeah, yeah. Of what, what this That's is. Fine. So, and then it's just done. And then you're going to be, you're going to be here. Let's have a look. Where are you? See more pages. Oh, I think I've got quite a few pages. You're probably on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Uh, 
Come on, man. <laughs> oh, there you are. So you're up 10.5 cents. Great. Big things are happening at the moment. Good, good. So that was um, from last week. And also then you can benchmark you against the other sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so this is another thing that a lot of people are not using. Uh, what was going to say? Ah, another question that I had was about um, LinkedIn groups. Okay. Uh, let me see the question. Let me see the question. Um, so I would love to know more about LinkedIn and how to find and join groups that could have target market audience in them. So, okay, so um, let's go on LinkedIn. <clears throat> if you have, if you know for sure that your clients are hanging out on LinkedIn, um, then groups is a really good choice. And groups on LinkedIn are, um, you know, the same as a group on Facebook. Um, they've changed the rules with a LinkedIn groups uh, last year uh, because now, because of so much spam that was going around, now you have to actually apply to join a LinkedIn group. And they kind of like um, choose you and they can actually deny entrance to the group if they see that, you know, you're not that active or you're not relevant to that specific group. So where's my groups? I think you can have up to 35 groups. I think. At the bottom, on the bottom. No. Ah, there you are. So these are my groups, okay. Um, you have to actually have like a, um, you know, a, a kind of a strategy with the groups on LinkedIn. Um, you need to be active on the, um, um, ideally like weekly uh, on the groups. Um, and just show value, um, show that, you know, you care and, um, that you can show um, your expertise on those groups so that people start trusting you and they will eventually contact you for more, more business with you. So to search um, groups, let's search, search groups. So on the advanced um, search, like you see here the, next to the magnifying lens, you've got an advanced search and you can actually search uh, per groups. Okay. Um, there, is, there is a restriction on many, you know, many groups you can search. So sometimes you have to upgrade to access multiple groups. So you can either put, um, Keywords like, uh, let's say, I know that um, Sanaya Floyd that asked this question is um, in the coaching industry. So I'm going to put keywords coaching and see what comes up with. So one of the th searches that you can do, you can actually go inside um, this lady's, if you know, that this lady's profile, okay, either as incognito, if you don't want to them to know that you've been searching them as such, and then look at what kind of groups they belong to, for example. So if they have the groups activated, that should do. You go down to the groups area. There you are. So then you can see which groups um, this lady, for example, belongs to. So the executive coach, 
um, organization development. I think that's where it is. And then you can join those groups. But when you join, um, it sends an email to the admin. So I just press the join to try it. Okay. That is highlights. It's just sent it. It's not telling me anything. So now they're probably going to get in contact with me to to say, oh, you wanted to join this group, why, sort of thing. The groups have really changed. And there's this area as well. So this area will show you my groups, the groups that you belong to, and then you can discover new groups as well. So sometimes it's good to look at what other what other people are doing. Like, so I know all these people here and um, they're already on this um, social media today group. And I might want to, I might want to, um, to join, you know, so I either ask to join or I show an interest and they'll contact you for the groups. Uh, digital marketing, social media, again, you know, just there's this area here. I'll put the link as well in a chat box. This will be worth having a look at. So this area here, you've got my groups. So this is all my groups that I belong to. And then I can discover some new groups. And you can also create a group. So if, you, if you're a community manager on a Facebook group already and you know that your um, audience is concentrating on LinkedIn, yes, by all means, create a group there and, and build it up, uh, you know, just like you would build up a Facebook group. Right, so another question for today was um, about Hootsuite. So um, Heather Gale has asked about um, Hootsuite and how, let's have a look. What's the, I would like to know what's the best app to harmonize all your social media posts in one place. I think what she means is not app, it's a tool. Um, so I um, used to have Hootsuite Pro, so I know quite a lot about Hootsuite Pro. Um, however, it didn't give me a lot of flexibility that I wanted for other things. Um, Basically, the reporting in Hootsuite Pro, it's an extra added uh, payment <laughs> and it's quite costly to do um, the reporting on Hootsuite Pro. Um, Hootsuite Pro, um, it's good to schedule your posts. You create them as drafts and then you schedule your posts to um, several um, social networks. But um, you can't repost them, for example. So I now use, I, I'm always saying like a tool is just a tool and you really have to test um, different types of tools for your needs, okay? So you can then decide which way you go and do um, your scheduling, which tool you should use. Um, so, I mean, I don't know specifically what the question that Heather wanted to know, um, but what I can tell you is that um, Heather, the um, Hootsuite Pro uh, video tutorials are inside my social media starter kit. Okay, so just briefly, uh, I want to show you a sneak peek of uh, the membership site for the social media starter kit. Oh, before, does anybody have any questions? No, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, so the social media starter kit is, is just to, um, it's just a, a very small course uh, of four modules, just, you know, to get you, um, clear on your goals up a platform 
um, you know, to kind of uh, give you an idea of how to audit your social sites. And on this um, particular course, um, you can audit. I've got tutorials on uh, auditing Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. But there is also uh, a worksheet that you can use on um, another three platforms. So um, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. So, um, and also, so let me just go through uh, quickly. So you join, you join the, the, the course uh, if this is what you need. Um, there's support throughout the course. So it's not like you are going to be on your own um, doing the course. So there's accountability. Uh, you can reach me by email. And there's a Facebook group as well that you can ask questions and we get you unstuck. So the first, the first step that I always say is, you know, even in, within my calls with people, uh, a potential clients is what what you want to reach what you want to achieve with social media you know so we'll go through all the setting up the goals and um you know like just properly so we'll get like a spreadsheet that is going to help you do that and you have tutorials, um, basically like video tutorials. So it's very easy to kind of just like plug it in while you're relaxing or something and just listening to it. Um, and the next time is if you are already on social media, are you actually uh, making the most of it? So uh, is, are your social platforms optimized to the best? So in this module, uh, module number two, I help you kind of look at the single, um, the backbone of a, a, each um, social platform and kind of audit those and see what else you can do to um, increase your reach. One thing that people are not doing, for example, and just I, if I just quickly show you, is, uh, for example, on your page, on Facebook page, on the About section, okay? And this could be like a little exercise. Just go to your pages. <laughs> and on the About section, you've got um, the short... Yeah, short description, Okay. So in a short description, you can actually put a link there to your website or to, for example, in here, I have a link to my questionnaire before I have a call with, with a potential client. Um, but you, can, you should be putting uh, a link there to your website or to some page on your website that you have a call to action for that specific week, month or whatever. Um, it's very short, this one, but the, the more keywords you put it on the short description and on the long description, the more keywords, this is all searchable through search engines. Facebook is also searchable through Google, through Bing, through Yahoo. So the more you have more keywords specific to your industry you have here, the better to be, um, searchable by other people that are putting the same keywords uh mission as well you can you know you can uh, put a lot of keywords in the mission so there's a lot a lot of space that sometimes is not being utilized properly so that's what i go through in this tutorials um again uh ah in this module as well, I've got other examples of audit reports that I've done in the past. <coughs> so you can go and have a sneak peek and see, oh, you know, what they're what they doing, what kind of things can I get, what kind of ideas can I get for my own business. On uh, model number three, it's all about content calendar. And basically, you have, um, you know, how to uh, create content, or how to repurpose content, um, and how to create, curate content. So this is 
packed full of um, tutorials as well and exercises to um, to to help you do your content and in this module number three is I've got also some uh, video tutorials on Hootsuite Pro training so for those of you that would like to know about Hootsuite a bit more in depth this is um, this is quite ideal so some of them it's about half an hour worth of um, videos there okay and last and not least is saving money and time and money with your social media tools so again i go through which you know what what why you need to monitor um your social media what tools are for your budget so hootsuite it's a a, a cheap option uh but sometimes a cheap is not everything so you need to really um, assess if it's if it's good for your um for your business like i said before i'm using uh, a different tool um right now which is uh, a digital matchbox tool and um i'm loving it it basically saves me eight hours per month in scheduling and creating campaigns and also um, using other tools because so, this tool that I'm using at the moment just reposts, um, does all the reports, everything is included. Okay, it's not uh, a cheap option, but at the end of the day, if you are paying somebody else to do your social media management, then um, it definitely, definitely um, is worth it. I think I had something here about about it it's probably on that one so okay i think i think i've covered everything and um you know just until the end of this month i've got uh, a coupon that um uh a discount because i'm celebrating last month i celebrated 20 years that i've been living in the uk <laughs> so oh let me stop the uh let me stop the uh yay you're still there mary i'm still here <laughs> thank you thank you so um today until the end of this month i've got this a promotion going 20 percent discount because 20 years 20 percent so I've got, I can put the coupon um, on the chat box for you as well. Did you know you can save the chat box, um, Mary? What is the chat box? Down below, you've got a little chat bubble. Did you see that? Hi. Can you see? Can you see down below the screen? There's a chat. Yeah. And then on the side, you've got a more button. If you yeah. drop down on that, you can save the chat. You drop down on more and then you save the chat. It didn't work so easy. Hang on, I've lost you now. Oh. <laughs> Did you see the more button? Oops. So funny. Hang on. Uh. <laughs> you muted yourself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I did. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I've, what I've done. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Um, I found the more button. I pressed it and then all this other stuff came up. <laughs> <laughs> I now don't know how to get out of it. Okay, I'll I'll just I'll email you. I can email you the chat box if you can't find it anyway. So okay. it's not a problem. Thank you. And I'm gonna put the recording, this recording, in the Facebook group later on, and I'll put the uh, the chat box document as well in the Facebook group. So I'm creating a thread in the Facebook group just for this recordings 
So, Mary, do you have any other questions? No, I'm fine at the moment, thanks. So, but basically, like the um, the social media starter kit is just for those that like to learn on their own, and they still like to have that support and accountability. So, it's not, you know, it's not like a course that. I've just put it there and I'm running sort of thing. Um, you know, I'll be supporting, I'll be um, getting your feedback about it, what can be done better. So, and also I'm always adding free stuff to it. I'm going to add a social media content challenge that I've done recently in my group. And that is going to be there free of charge for those that, um, purchase the um the uh, course the crash course so yeah so if you don't have any more questions i'll um i'll stop recording